So Enlisa has just given us another making Enlisa a better place number 61, and this time they make life easier for a lot of things, most notably ground vehicles. But as with all Enlisa updates, this has fixed some of the minor issues, but has barely or not at all fixed some of the major issues. In today's video, with my sore throat, I am going to be talking about what Enlisa has fixed and what are the things that I suggest Enlisted fix. With that said, let's get started. And of course, yes, I do have a sore throat, meaning that if you feel something different about this video or my voice, you know why. And of course, this video has been made possible for your friends at Discord, meaning if you haven't liked, subscribed, or joined the Discord, I highly suggest that you do. With that said, let's get started. Starting with making ground vehicles easier, should I say, HG shells capture the point and they also clear the point if you know what you're doing, meaning that as of right now, Enlisted is also going to be making the tanks move easier. My only issue with that is the fact that as of right now, tanks are really, really prone to getting stuck. Of course, you have to be extra careful, for example, moving through trench lines, you essentially have to be very careful. Of course, I kind of feel that Enlisted is doing this on purpose, making trenches extremely hard for tanks to pass. That way, they kind of nerf the tanks, which is a legit way to nerf the tanks, but at the same time, it really throws a historical accuracy, not to mention the fact that common logic indicates that a tank, which was supposedly built to cross trenches, can't even cross a tank, so that's going to be a problem. Another issue is the fact that tanks get stuck on trees, not to mention some trucks, which are even more depressing considering the fact that a uh, 60-ton vehicle can destroy a 5-ton truck or something like that. But overall, this is my own take for tanks and vehicles and whatnot. Personally, suggest that Enlisted reworks the movement for all tanks in the sense that they can crush objects, which is going to be really fun. And of course, they also updated the kill lock. Now, what they've done is that the kill lock takes too much space, and essentially they changed the size of the kill lock, which is pretty good if you ask me. Personally, what I think Enlisted is going to do after this is going to get make more customization options. Some of the customization options for me, I suggest, are giving us what maps that we prefer or what battlefields that we want. For example, I am a big fan of the Tunisia maps, and hopefully Enlisted gives us the ability to preference Tunisia maps instead of Stalingrad maps, if you know what I'm talking about. Or better yet, I like Moscow maps, and I would like it if Enlisted would give us some Moscow maps instead of having to fight in Berlin every single day. But that's that. Overall, what do you guys think of this very short video slash update? And of course, they did fix a bunch of other bugs, but most of them are minor. They just make the game a lot better. Of course, Enlisted has a ton of bugs to fix and a ton of other things to fix and improvements. But that said, this is all for the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.